Is there any indication that we're starting to get a little uptick in inflation? Yeah, I think, as you said, there's a, a tingle, uh, a little bit of an outperformance this morning. Uh, we'll see with the CPI tomorrow. Um, that should tick up in year-over-year -year terms, but it's mostly due to base effects. I think the underlying story is still one where inflation is running below the Fed's target. Core PCE, which is what they focus on, is only at 1.6% year-over-year, so 40 basis points below their target. Uh, that doesn't really change. I think uh, you have a Fed that is looking at growth concerns and is also looking at inflation below their target, and both of those things together are leading them in a dovish direction. Uh, Lisa, if you tie the wind together what's happening with the market, uh, even if it's a tingle or more modest, et cetera, uh, you are still seeing a steeper yield curve. I mean, six basis points in the two tens is very different than we were two weeks ago. Do you need to ride this a little bit more? So we're seeing uh, potentially the uh, potential for the yield curve to, to relatively stay flat. And it is actually encouraging that it has uh, moved upward. But generally, again, when we look at the economic data, what we see is slowing trends. And while we've had some starts and stops in terms of some of the data starting to st um, stabilize, we haven't seen a firm movement in that direction. So as long as we get that global growth slowing and also firmly here in the U.S., it's difficult to imagine that you're going to get a strong move in the yield curve either way.